Last time on XCOM 2. Hold on, if she's bound, she can survive. Because bound only does two damage per turn. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to XCOM 2. Um, I'm very excited because we're about to get a lot of things. Like, our soldiers are powering up rapidly. So, for example, we are about to get plasma grenades in just a few days. Our alien machinery here is about to be cleared up. We are going to need to somehow acquire another engineer or else this isn't gonna work. Because we need someone in the proving ground all the time. I suppose I can take someone off of clearing the alien machinery to go to here, but that means that we only have one engineer available at all times. Because we have one here, one here, one here, and then one working here. Meaning we only have one to clear debris, which would make that extremely slow. But anyways... Let's continue. So, uh, goals here. Let's finish scanning the Avengers supply drop. New course. I don't know if we have to buy the plasma grenades. I hope everyone just gets them, because it'll be such a huge improvement. Supply drop, we got it. Cool. We have new staff available. Gonna ignore that for now. Um, I could drop by the black market and buy another engineer, but I don't really see the point. We have a lot more intel than we could possibly dream of having. Or needing, I should say. Uh, we're almost to Gauss weapons. Perhaps if I can acquire another scientist, I don't know how much of a difference that would make. We have a lot of money, so I'm not as opposed to buying one right now. Let's check Resistance Science HQ, for because we may have gotten the scientist corridor. from that. Welcome, Commander. There is a scientist here, but it's gonna cost more than half of our supplies. I'm not very keen on that. I'd prefer just to wait. Um, we get Gauss weapons soon, so that's good. Alright, if that's the case, I want to make contact with Australia, which we can't yet, but I'm gonna have to take an engineer off of a project. So, sorry, but this is gonna take longer now. Only seven days, it's not that bad. And you know what? We'll get 117 supplies from clearing this in seven days. But I still want to wait. I don't know what's coming up. I don't know if I'm going to have to purchase the plasma grenades or not. So. Congratulations. This is your permanent post now. Apparently you can upgrade some of these rooms. I uh, gotta remember how. Hey, Go to engineering. Remember. Build facilities? Some of them have upgrades you can purchase, like resistance comms. What is, What do these two do? Add an additional workstation to the power relay. Oh, it makes it so you can add more engineers to each station, which I don't have to add. So never mind. Okay. Um, I wish we had a simulator for Bradford to practice on. If he crashes check this out the map. By the way, thank you guys for supporting the series. It's a ton of fun being able to play one of my favorite games ever. I know I keep saying this, but like seriously, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's also been fun interacting and having your characters here. Even if they die, they were still significant. Even if they died on their first mission, they still mattered. Remember that. Okay, uh, let's go make contact now then. Setting course it's gonna take Australian six to sector. eight days. I don't know where the UFO is. I haven't seen it in a while. Attempting to establish local uh -oh. regional contact. Oh, it's just one pip. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I know, I know. Hey, we got the plasma grenades. So... Which unlocks advanced explosives. Oh, I see. So we can unlock things like experimental grenades, experimental ammo. Battlefield medicine. Um, I kind of want this, and then we'll grab the Skulljack, because we need that for story reasons. But the Battlefield Medicine, I think, improves our, uh, Sounds good, med kits. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. I wish I could station another engineer here, but whatever. 
So does everyone get plasma grenades? That's what I want to know. Yep, everyone gets them. Sick. Okay then, we'll continue scanning. Thyro Clary, congratulations, you are now a grenadier. Do we have anyone else we can train? Or was that it? That was it, we don't have any more rookies to train. I want to recruit more, but the costs have already gone up. I kind of regret not recruiting more of them, but at the same time, I didn't know how much money we were going to need in the future for other such things. Commander, that UFO contact has us locked in. We what? have to take evasive maneuvers. I didn't know they could get us while we were down here. Commander, we've detected an alien UFO in close proximity to the to the Avenger. Okay. Setting course for Let's begin evasive maneuvers. Yeah, real good evasive maneuvers there, Bradford. Just sit still. Spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. We're going down, Commander. UFO contact has disabled our oh, systems. Okay. Brace yourselves. Commander, we can deploy some of our wounded troops back into combat if you feel it's necessary. This operation is critical to our efforts. We may not have much of a choice if we want to proceed. All right, Commander, in order... Why are you showing their crotches? In order to ensure the success of this vital operation, wounded soldiers may be assigned to the mission. I also noticed there's six soldiers here. That scares me because that means something is going on. But on the bright side, look at these health bars. Like, look at that. But I do want to build some things because we're going to need them. First of all, we need a med kit because we lost our last one and same for a battle scanner. So I want both of those on us. Not bothering with the arc blades once again. We can build a nanoscale vest just to see how it works, so I'm going to do that. Now that we have multiple slots, though, we can put on a nanoscale vest on someone without having to worry about it. You're low... No, I, you can't wear a vest because you're going to be holding the med kit. You hold a med kit. You hold a battle scanner. Wait, where the hells are... Oh, you know what? I just have to make utility items available. That's why we're missing some. Whoops. Wait, what the frick? Where's our battle scanner? Or not our battle scanner. Our mimic beacon. Our sniper never died. Hold on. The hell? I think the last person to hold the mimic beacon was James. Oh. There we go. I don't know where it went. That was weird. Or maybe not you. This is a defense mission, so... You're probably going to be doing more things than normal. Yeah, how about you hold the Mimic Beacon. You hold the Nanoscale Vest. 
And that's it. I think we're well prepared. We have a good team here. We just... It sucks that we couldn't get to the Gauss weapons in time. Uh, we would have had you two with much better weaponry. Hmm. Should I bring another sniper, though? It is a defense mission. So that wouldn't be bad, all things said and done. But you know what? We'll wait. We'll wait. I have no idea how this is going to go down. Situation critical. Primary Avenger systems are offline and hostiles are moving to engage. Shen, any updates? Commander, we've got a critical system failure. The Avenger is dead in the water. I'm diverting reserve power to the scanners and they're picking up a powerful radiation force nearby. Okay. We need to locate and destroy whatever it is disrupting our systems. So we. we... Have a bigger problem, Commander. We're picking up heavy comm traffic. Dozens of Advent transports are inbound on our position, and they've got battleships in tow. The aliens are sending everything they've got. We have to get the ship off the ground, or we may not make it out of this one. All right. Well, we'll have to be careful then. But this is a daunting mission. The fact that it gives us six people must mean that it's sending ridiculous amounts of enemies at us. But I do have a plan. If we can get someone out there, stealth and concealment, and get squad sight going on top of that, uh, that could go very well. You actually have two battle scanners, so I think I'm going to send you forward. Or maybe I should send someone else, because I don't know if the battle scanners give you away. I bet they do. Moving to position. Let's throw out a scanner. Well, that didn't barely find anything. I see a mech. That's about it. Yeah, so what I think I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to take a concealed soldier. Roger that. Um, you need sight, so I'm going to put you over here. And maybe with squad sight, we can get Kale to shoot this thing. I don't know if, if battle scanners count as squad sight, though. I don't think they do. But anyways, we need to get up close, so... I didn't mean to do that with you, Keese, but that's fine. Everyone just overwatch. Commander, I'm sending what? reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. Oh! He's just sending in more soldiers! A second sniper is super useful if we're going to shoot that thing the way I'm trying to do it. I want to get this person all the way out to the edge of the map. Go, go, go! In the meantime, we'll just keep overwatching because I don't really... Like, I don't have anything to do. Hey, you hear anything? Shit, it looks like they're straight ahead. What is taking them so long? On my way. I got enemy movement here. Okay, we got a squad up there. If we could just get a little closer though. Out. Another squad up there. So we have squad sight of all these guys, but not the device yet. I don't want to shoot at them, though, because if we do... It could be a ton of trouble. Like, we could activate a ton of pods at once, I feel. Or would it? I don't know how that works. Like, if you... This is one mechanic I'm not quite sure on. If you shoot at a squad way out somewhere, and they are near another squad, and you can see them both, do they both activate, or what? I'll just keep overwatching, honestly. 
See what they do. They're coming towards us, as I'd hoped. Oh. You tried, buddy. You tried. I'll get him next time. A shield bearer, a commander, and a regular soldier. Nice. Where did those come from? Did those just spawn in? Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. Okay, well, hold on. Oh boy, it's not going to be easy to get in there. This is a really risky situation. Or at least a risky strategy. I'm tr Oh my god. Can you see the device yet? And we can't even hide there. Um, I guess I'll have to wait till those vipers move forward or something. It looks like these guys aren't interested in moving around. So, understood. Moving out. Menace Look what we can see. On the oh my god. The I hope she's gonna be okay. I really hope she's gonna be okay. But we can see the device. But... Oh, does Squad Sight have a limit? I didn't know that. So we're gonna have to advance if we want to get anything done. Okay, Soleil. Wanna try out those new grenades? Need to get a little closer, though. I want to take down the commander and the shield bearer for sure. Ooh, just look at those. Really? I noticed. I want to save our good shots for the other guys, you know? Three? I hate how those guys can dodge. I, only scratched them. I don't really know how the mechanic works. All I know is I hate it. Are you kidding me? We got two snipers. <laughs> really? That's not very useful, guys. Come on, commands. Think about what you're doing. Ugh. There. Hostile target down. Let's try it. Nice shot, Kale. It hit the plate. That's how you crit. Her shot chances are so low. Because they have default defense and weapon range is an issue too. This isn't that much of a move forward, so I don't think we'll activate the Vipers. It's hard to tell because I can't see sight lines because, well, this. I want to get a little closer, but I just don't know. We have chances to hit this guy out here, and I'm kind of scared of him because I know he has grenades. Hmm. Location. Okay. I'm almost saying, I almost want to say, almost, that we should just leave our snipers out in the open and take shots if we miss. You know. Or wait. You can't even see the shield bearer, and neither can you. Wow, our sight lines are bad here. Please don't spot the vipers. It didn't, thank god. Although you're in half cover now, so. 62, come on, please, 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 please. Thank you. That's right, clear. 
Okay, let's get you two in cover because we desperately need that. Oh, thank God they're running straight towards the Avenger and not. Please tell me they saw Mercy and not. Okay, they saw Mercy. I thought they saw, um, Chance. Or Choice, or whatever her name is. So, we have Vision of the Vipers this turn. I really think we're gonna end up throwing out the Mimic Beacon. Probably. We're gonna have to move forward, though, no matter what we do, so... A slight advance forward plus a Mimic Beacon probably isn't that bad of an idea. Okay, hey, we're back. I don't know what's been happening, but the Windows notifications in the bottom right corner have been, like, ruining my streams and my recordings and everything I do. <laughs> so I finally figured out uh, that it had a mode called, like, Game Mode where it doesn't bother you, but that has crashed XCOM multiple times now. And it was getting really annoying, so I'm glad I was able to cancel it. Anyways, um... Do you think I'd be able to... There's no real reason to move her up anymore. Unless I can't hit... So first thing... Yeah. Let's test out our new grenades. We wouldn't be able to hit that one way back there anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. Let's see our new plasma grenades. I'm excited. They do four to five damage, I think it's said. Man, the fact that every soldier just has those now is great. So, uh, I want to move Kale somewhere over here this turn, so that way he can have, like, a sight line on something, at least. I'm afraid to move her any more forward, so... Miss. I just wanted to see if I could take out one in the back, but maybe that was a bad idea. You move up. We're gonna throw a battle scanner this turn for sure. Um, they're just too far away. We can't deal with all of them. You're gonna be throwing it so you can't do anything. Crit, nice. Target eliminated. Gonna need to reload soon. Oh, we got a promotion. Nice. Okay, Kale, as much as I want you to just one-shot him and end his life... Oh, man, these sight lines are bad. You guys can't see anything. Um, okay, Miss Flank. Move over here behind this tree. Kale, you're gonna be running even further away. Like, perhaps to here. Location confirmed. I just need you to be able to see that god... He can see it now. Good. Wait, wait. Oh, no, that's someone else. Damn it. <laughs> I got excited. I'm like, yes, Kale can see it. But that's not what was happening. We're not going to shoot anyone with you because apparently you can only see these ridiculous sight lines that are super far away that's and irrelevant to our current set of combat. Let's throw this mimic beacon over here. It's full cover. It'll cause them to dash ahead. No, I don't want to draw them towards him, though. I'm worried about losing this cover, too, but we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Over here is fine. That should save us a bit of time. Overwatch. I'm so glad she hasn't been spotted yet. Oh, they didn't even enter combat. I was really hoping they'd do something dumb, like just charge straight forward or something. But they're actually being pretty careful, and I hate that. Oh, there we go, there's the one. Dodge grazed, again. I hate that mechanic. Are you really going for a flank there? I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. 
Oh, no, that's right. If they hit the Avenger, they win. So they're just dashing for it. Wow, I didn't think they were going to be, well, like that. <sighs> we still can't see it. On the bright side, we know where most of them are. So if we move Kale over to here, he won't spot anyone. Come on. Who else can fire? Let's see our shot chances here. 72. I'm almost willing to try that. You know what? Let's try it. Nice. That's some damage, but not enough. I should have thought about that. Her damage isn't up to par because she doesn't have a Gauss weapon yet. Okay, um... I'm not worried about something seeing us because even if they see us the next turn, it's gonna be okay. Has that Viper? No, I don't think we've spotted that one yet. Okay, Kale. Let's see if we can do this without getting spotted. Stepping off. Sick. Reload. Or, you know what? We should probably try a pistol shot or two. We could probably kill it without having to reload. Wait. Did you already use your turn up, Alessandra? No, you haven't. It just wasn't selecting you for some reason. Okay. Nice shot. Everyone else? Oh, we still have that one. That's right. We could throw a grenade and guarantee its death if we just moved a little closer, but I know a little closer may very well mean... Oh, we can't, anyways. Well, whatever. Good job, buddy. X-ray neutralized. I think he got a... No, he didn't get a promotion. I think he got one earlier. So are those guys actually part of the combat? I can't tell. We could throw a battle scanner. I don't think they're part of this combat. But we can see them because of squad sight. Or not really squad sight, but... I can't tell and it's bothering me oh hey onex Confirm. what up on overwatch moving to overwatch just hunker down in cover please tell me they're not cuz what i got is since there was no cutscene introducing them they weren't part of the combat Oh, they aren't. Holy shit, they want to get to the objective. Oh, what? They're part of the combat? The game just lied and didn't show that. Oh, you're lucky. Can we really not see that thing still? God damn it. You gotta be kidding me. What's the point of trying to use squad sight if it's not working? Whatever. So this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> I realize they want to get to the objective. Uh, I want to save our snipers for firing at this one that's all the way out here. These ones shouldn't be too hard to take out. I don't want to use grenades because, god damn it, dodge grays. I hate this. I hate vipers so much. They suck. I don't want to deal with them anymore. Oh, 
I am baffled that that wasn't a crit. Abgebreit. Um, Miss Alessandra here. Could use a grenade from her and just... Apparently there's no angle I can use a grenade without blowing up someone's cover. And we need these pieces of cover pretty badly. Oh, this sucks. Come on, Onyx. I hate dodge graze. I don't... I just legitimately don't understand it. Like, what... I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm horrifically complaining right now, but I am. Locked and loaded. What the fuck? What is this mechanic? This is so upsetting. I've used practically everything I've had just to take down this singular enemy. There. And the pistol shot crits without any chance of dodge crit. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just upsetting. Okay, we do need to actually hide you, though. But we don't have any room or space to. You know what? There's only one Viper. We'll be fine. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Running dry on ammo. Okay, we can't afford to miss this. Understood. Moving out. You have to take a grenade to the face. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it without. Well, no one's behind this piece of cover anymore, so. I should have just thrown a grenade in the first place, but... Oh my god, now he has no cover. Just none. Good. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so upset. And Kale's the only one left who can do anything. I'm super worried about the Viper also binding Kale, but it seems to be more preoccupied with the idea of touching our base, which I can't prevent because we don't have any overwatches. Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. Looks like they called in some friends. <gasps> Not there. Commander, the situation Not there. just got worse. Resistance outposts are reporting enemy transports on the move across this region. They're getting ready for an all-out assault. Do you think I could get this close without spotting the mech? Is it the car that's in the way? If it's the car, I can move over here. I just need squad sight on that thing. I don't know how we don't have it. And there's another Viper back there. Okay, we need to start moving up. Like, there's no choice. Just no choice. Okay, who wants to take down this Viper? Argo, you're still injured, so maybe I'll have you take a shot at it. Actually, he's stealth too. So maybe not. Keys, just kill it. Thank you. That's how it's done. Ammo out. Um, yeah, we have to move forward. Moving to position. Even if it's just little bit by little bit, we have to. 
Even if it means leaving the Avengers sort of behind. We have to get snipers out here to do things. Moving to position. Bin unterwegs. Vado. Um. Could use medical protocol on Keese. But. Don't know. Roger that. And you are still stealthed. You need to get out there and do your job. Moving out. I will forever be hard on Argo. Forever. You reload, Kale. It's not your fault. None of this is your fault. To engage. What? You're on Sonoma fire from the grenade? Are you serious? How did that happen? Hunker down. In cover. I feel like if you run, there should be a cha- Why? But I don't care. I'm happy. This works for me. Because you can't miss these. Ha <laughs> Gotcha. There's just a very specific sight line we have to have. Got it covered. Oh, but I'm worried about you. Um, you can't stay here any longer. So, even though I like this new sight line we just got, we are going to have to retreat with you. It's back here. And then see about shooting the thing again in a few more turns. Another mech. And a shield bearer. The thing that bothers me is that those ones up there that are being annoying and camping the pylon aren't... Did they see her? Or did they see... Kale? I think they see Kale. This looks a little ugly! Oh, they see her no matter what, anyways, so... Um, Kale? You have to move back. We... We had a sight line, keyword had. But now we don't. What can our snipers do about this? Alessandra can hit that. We can all take shots at the mech. The problem is our guns are flat out just not strong enough to kill it. There's no full cover on the way there. Even with our advanced launchers, we can't do anything. I just don't know what to do here. Um, you know what, let's just try taking these shots. They can't exactly go very wrong. Four, nice. Where's our other sniper? Two. I. Kale can take a lightning hand, so oh, maybe we can take out... No, we can't take out the mech. Unless Kale crits, there's no way we can. Unless we took two shots, but I don't want to do... Well, no, we can't take two shots, actually, because then I can just push Kale back into full cover. So let's try it. One... Oh, that did minimum damage. Tough. Unless Kale hits a four. Nope. Okay, Kale, get back. 
No need for you to die in a shitty place like this. On your order. I'm scared to move her because I don't know... ...whose sightline she's in. I don't know if we're gonna activate another pod if I move her. Heading out. They've got eyes on me. Well, hey, shit. At least I got those guys to move, finally. Would have been real nice to have a second Mimic Beacon, but... Can't have everything in the world, can we? I'm also upset by the fact that you can't shoot at anyone. <laughs> I don't think we can get flanked this turn. But we could try and take out the mech. Which isn't a terrible idea. And you two aren't close enough that it's going to fire its rockets at you or whatever. But if you... There's nowhere for you to really run to anyways. 70%. Which isn't bad. Let's see what everyone else can do. Because we don't have a lot of shots here. At least a lot of good shots. If I had waited a turn though... I should have done that. If I had waited a turn, she wouldn't have had to break sight or introduce anyone new to the fight till it was their turn. Uh, wow, these shots are bad. Well, and then again, they do have shotguns. I can't really blame them for that, but... Alright, everyone, let's start moving up a bit here. Understood. Moving out. No sight line. I've got my eyes on it. I need to move you up desperately too, but we need people here defending the Avenger. I want everyone away from each other though too. We could run and gun, but the problem is that would just... I don't think that affects reloading. So... Absolutely. I hate having to move you farther away, but it's what we have to do. Well, let's take the shot, I guess. She's probably going to die. Because we kill him, then what happens? He probably gives them all armor. He's going to mark us, and then everyone's going to shoot at us while we're marked. So it would take a miracle for her to survive. But it's also not even guaranteed we're going to hit this shot, so... Okay, we got lucky there. What did you expect? I don't want you to be behind half cover. But I don't want you close to anyone, because... Those mech explosion ranges are ridiculous. There's nowhere to really put you where you won't endanger anyone, is the thing. Oh, over here, I guess. We could gremlin heal some people, like Keese. Or you to keep the fire from going. But I just prefer we actually wait out that fire. Okay, if they get a little closer, though, next turn we'll be okay. Ready to engage. Come on, just put down a shield. Uh, I've got some serious wounds here. Um, you serious? I know full cover isn't guaranteed, but... Okay. Gotta close. pray for a few more. Because the shield bearer is probably going to take a shot now. Or worse, he could just flat out... No, he's running for the goal. He doesn't care. <laughs> nice shred, Salel. Imagine how much easier this mission would have been if we had Gauss weapons, though. Damn, our grenadiers are on it. Don't shoot at her, just buff. Don't shoot at her, just buff. Thank you. 
Okay, does the fire just not go out on its own? Oh, it does. There we go. Okay, well... Next question is, how am I gonna take this? We need to get back within sight line so we can start shooting that pylon. But the problem is... How? If only this singular car wasn't in the way. I hate having to take half cover ever, but I think we're gonna have to if we want a grenade to go out. We could also try to haywire protocol one of the mechs, like this one that's really close by. Try not to break this one. Let's see what our chances with this are. If we do that, 37% chance to just get into it. I want to try and take it because if we can hack in, that would be amazing, but I doubt it. Oh, so close. And now all of its stats are raised. Good. It was worth a shot, though. But now we also can't heal, so that sucks, but... It's how things are. Okay, snipers, you got any good shots here? It's actually a really bad one. No, most of them are reloading. You have to reload. I just don't know. We're in a bad position because everyone is so far away. And there's only so much full cover on the map. I really want to get rid of the shield bearer, though. I also really want you to run away. So I think that's what we're going to do. Kale's the only one who has a really decent shot on it. I wouldn't mind having Kale fire at it. The problem, though, is the other mech. No, the other mech's dead. Okay, so that isn't as huge of a problem as I thought. You're not going to do anything else. Miss. I got nothing. Okay, Kale. Miss. That is not good. Oh, it sucks that its defensive stats got raised. And it sucks that it's so close to you. But at the same time, it doesn't. We could just use a grenade on it. That wouldn't be so bad. But I also want to use a grenade on this guy. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Get rid of all the cover they can possibly use. This is for it's, also all, it's also our cover, but... It's fine. It's fine. I'm not sure if shielding actually brings any, like, defensive aim stats or anything like that. I don't know. Everyone just chuck grenades at things until they die. Bonus New strat, okay. I like it. It works out for me. Shield down. I really don't want to move anyone, though. You haven't been seen yet. But I don't want to move you forward. Why not? It's not a bad shot. Nice. Deflection. They've seen me. Keith, there's not a lot for you to do here. I could get you into full cover up here, but I am worried about flanks. Moving to fire Let's position. run and gun up to here and see if we can take this guy out. Best spot we can get to right now. Already there. Did we just spot something? No, he didn't. Okay. Please die. Thank you. Only the best. Does that not get rid of everyone else's shields? Oh, no, it does. Cool. I know what you're saying. See, you know, you should have taken out the commander first. 
Well, that's a shitty thing to happen. Dodge keys, come on! Yeah! I'm taking fire! I know! Looks like they called in backup! <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not even scared of this one. Be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Okay, so next turn we're gonna focus on taking out those reinforcements. But we also have the problem of killing that commander. I thought we had a grenadier with grenades left, but maybe I'm just crazy. And we don't. Where's Onex? He's back here with one. Onex, what's your range? If we move to max range, Onex could probably uh, grenade him. But that would require him being out in the open. Which I don't like, but at the same time, we're going to be able to take down this guy no problem. So. Should we flank for it? No, because there's the other Viper back there. So what we're going to do is, you are actually on the rare occasion, occasion going to use a grenade. Hold on. Let's just see what we can do with Onex here first. So Onex... Let's see if this is enough for you to get the grenade out there and uncover that commander. It is. Fire in the hole. Although it won't get rid of all of his cover. Unless plasma grenades demolish trees. They do. Plasma grenades are so good. I love them. I love you, Bradford. I mean, you didn't make them. But I don't want to say I love Tygen because he gets annoying. Okay, uh... <laughs> I know, cruel Zeno right now. The aliens may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better Just than the a ones sectoid. Actually, what is that? 